All right. Well, hello, everyone. So, am I recording? I can't see. Yeah, I'm recording. So, I was driving back to the house, and I made a video, and I said something, and I was like, you know what? I'm wrong. So, I'm going to make another video. I'm going to try to remember everything I said before. But, I actually got my trailer, uh, got the gate put back on it. Uh, Copeland Weldon did the work. They did a pretty good job. There's a couple of things that, you know, um, I'm not going to say I'm unhappy. I just, I was expecting a little bit more. So, but it's fine for the price. I really don't care as long as it don't break, you know, a couple months from now, I'm happy. Um, but, uh, I will be taking it back to have the side, like the, the, the wood sides right here and over, over, I can't scratch that for it. Over there. Uh, the wood's coming off. Yeah, everything's backwards in here, so I'm trying to point. But uh, the wood sides are coming off, and then they're going to do uh, metal sides going all the way up, and then I'm going to line the inside of it with the LP Smart Side siding um, and turn it basically into like a, a big bowl, and you know. And they're also going to do the work on the five by ten, which is over there somewhere. And um, I was going to build all the wood and make like a, a door building setup on top of the trailer. But I'm like, well, hell, for what they're going to charge, I'll just have them do a little one-by-one -one, uh, tubing and just weld it all in, and then I can line that with wood, and you know, so, and just set it in there, and that way I can remove it. And the, the rails on this is all going to be removable as well. Um, so if I have to, you know, I can take it all out and prep it or whatever. But I do got to paint the, um, I got to go get some spray paint and paint the gate because it's just raw metal now, and it's about to rain, so... Um, I'll probably knock that out this weekend. Uh, but I was kind of talking about what's happening today and, you know, some of the events we're having and what's happening in our near future. You know, maybe. So, first and foremost, we have our uh, presidential debate with our former and current president to determine who is our future president. And, you know, I was kind of mentioning about how, you know, CNN, it is a very biased uh, new channel. They do not... Uh, ever say anything positive about Trump and um, you know and, and I do watch CNN I watch Fox News uh, mainly on YouTube uh, so I don't really you know I don't have a television as far as uh, like local television I don't watch the news for local news um, I don't watch any everything I watch is on YouTube uh, basically I just watch you know a couple of YouTubers um, and then I, I watch all the news clippets on uh, CNN and um, Fox News. So, you know, and pretty much I just, you know, if I see that they're both talking about the same story, I'll watch both the videos and see what one, you know, one says and what the other one says. And, um, and if you're ever bored or ever want to know, you know, how split the nation is, go on CNN, go on Fox News. Don't even watch a video. Just go down to the comments. You know, because Fox News is all, you know, uh, you know, let's go Brandon or whatever that saying is, you know, you know, F uh, whoever. And then um, you go over to CNN and Trump's Hitler, Trump's Hitler, you know, and it just, it's, it is so biased, so one-sided, both, you know, uh, both news medias. And it just, it's, it's gotten to a point where it's just sad. It's sad for America, you know, and regardless of who you believe should be president, you know, to save America, if it, if it, if it's down to one person to save America, we're already gone, you know, so, and I am kind of curious about watching Biden tonight, so, you know, no, no ill will, nothing, you know, in fact, I kind of hope he does really, really good, and I'll tell you why, because a while back, the, uh, the Department of Justice, his Department of Justice said that he was too old and feeble and too grandpa-ish to, uh, stand trial for all the top secret documents and everything he had when he was vice president and senator which not supposed to have that you know as president you can technically declassify stuff but whenever you're the you know the senator and you have top secret unauthorized documentation sitting in your garage next to your corvette um that's that's a bad juju you know and the only reason according to the department of justice that he is not 
going to trial and going, you know, and, and being arraigned and everything else like Trump's had to go through is because he's too old to stand trial. So, does that mean if he does really good tonight, that he's, um, you know, he, he's going to be put on trial? Probably not. You know, we all know uh, the, the, the jig is up and the rig is in and all that kind of stuff. We, we know what the hell's going on. We see the the two-tiered system of go government and, you know. But anyways, you know, and if, he, and if he doesn't do well, do we really want someone who can't stand trial to stand up and be our, our president? You know, so it's, it's they kind of, you know, while trying to clean the fours, they kind of put themselves in a corner because, again, I know nothing will ever happen, but, you know, it's one of the things that you just sit back and, hmm, interesting. So, but anyways, uh, I, I will probably be watching the debate tonight. Probably, I, I'll give it a good 60% chance I'll be watching it. Um, I think it's at 9 o'clock, so... And uh, something else happening at 9 o'clock, which may, uh, you know, override the whole uh, debate. In fact, it may stop the debate, which, you know, I don't think will happen. But we also just happen to have an asteroid coming really, really close to Earth tonight. So, um, it's probably... It's, the news media, or there's certain clippets saying, oh, it's going to be a potentially dangerous asteroid. So, uh, I mean, if it hits, ain't shit we can do. You know, just ride the wave and surf while you can, man, because it's going to be a, you know, it's going to be whatever it's going to be. But, um, yeah, today we're having a very, or tonight we're having a very, very uh, close uh, pass by uh, with an asteroid. So, and I think that uh, I think this is the one. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I did go and double check to make sure it is tonight, but um, I think this is the one that's going to go so close that it's going to be like within the realm of our satellites. It's going to be in between the Earth and the Moon, I believe. So you know, it's going to be threading a needle. Now, in galactic scales, we're still talking thousands and thousands of the miles. You know. Um, Unless you believe the Earth is flat, then it's all fake, you know. But uh, but for those who know, you know, the truth of, of of a spheroid Earth, you know, we're good, you know. Unless it hits, then we're not good. So, um, I've been cleaning up the shop. I made a video and posted a little while ago, and uh, since that video. Um, I've torn down that big uh, build table in the back. I've already demolished that and got everything cleaned up. And now I'm working on getting all the doors in the front uh, pulled off the shelves and getting that area kind of straightened up to where I have access, where I can just walk up to a shelf and uh, put stuff on and off of it. So, but yeah, that shelf's already gone. And, um, you know, I, I got to go back and do one more load of laundry and I'm done with all the laundry. So, but it's it's been, it's been a lot long day for me so um and you know to add to all the great news of what's going on uh if we're not destroyed by an asteroid uh right now on windy.com or there's an app where you can download an app on windy uh, uh there's a it looks like on sunday we're going to start to see development of a, a possible hurricane or tropical storm and uh, I think it's by Thursday it's going to be in the Gulf. And where it goes after Thursday, I haven't seen any updates. But uh, it does look like we're going to have our um, you know, first potential storm coming into, I think it's going to be like south of Jamaica by Thursday. So, And uh, I haven't seen. Now, all the, the hurricanes that I've seen while you know watching them, well, I won't say all, but most of them, they have a tendency when coming in off the Atlantic... Uh, for you, it's going to be back over here. Let me see. When they so Africa's over here, Florida's over here. They always seem to come in and then go up and go that way. They always had that little check mark. So, and that's something that I always look at is like, you know, when they start to turn, and that's the biggest difficulty in is trying to figure out when they turn. You know, and it's based off pressure systems. It's based off, uh, you know, believe it or not, it's even based off solar flares because if there's a strong uh, 
uh, proton energy added to the atmosphere because of a solar flare or something like that, it will increase the size of a hurricane. You can go back and study Katrina for that one. That is an exact representation because it was like three, three, three solar flare, bam, five, you know, or four and a half or whatever it ended up being whenever it hit uh, uh, Louisiana. So, but no, it's uh, but yeah, trying to determine that little, you know, check mark when it's going to turn. That's the hardest part of trying to figure out, you know, whether you're going to be the one hit or whether you're going to be the one that just watches it, uh, you know, drive by. So, the reason I had to remake this video is this right here. I made a comment of just, you know, tonight we got the president of the debate. Sit back, have fun. Nothing really matters. President really don't affect the day and day of your life. You know, and in most aspects, that is correct. The president's decisions very rarely affects your life, you know, in a positive or negative, uh, you know, aspect. Then I got to thinking, I was like, you know, under Trump, the economy was better. You know, gas prices were cheaper. You know, uh, everything just seemed to be a little bit brighter. You know, and, and if you don't agree with Trump's policies, then that's not how you saw the world. You know, but um, the only time that Trump actually really affected our lives was during COVID and a pandemic. You know, we had a pandemic and he locked us all up, you know, which I still don't agree with that decision. I don't know. I'm not a, you know, Trump is not my God by any means, you know, but, um, you know, that is something that directly affected our life. And then I got to thinking, well, what has Biden done to affect our life? And, you know, the border and these people being overrun by, um, you know, invaders. I don't call them migrants. I don't, they're not illegal immigrants. They are illegal invaders, period. Okay. And, uh, but, you know, and, and we're starting to see the effects of, uh, you know, I think not too long ago, a, car, uh, a cop was carjacked in New York City by two armed people with machine guns. Now, remember, guns aren't allowed in New York. You know, uh, you, you can't have guns in New York. They're bad, you know. Uh, but yet, somehow, they get machine guns and, hide, and uh, carjack a cop, you know. And then you have other cops that are getting beaten up by, you know, uh, Venezuelan gang members. You know, which a lot of media will not tell you that. Uh, over the past couple years, a lot of the Venezuelan people, well, a percentage of the Venezuelan people coming up is from a massive um, jailbreak to where the jail just accidentally opened up and, you know, all the criminals uh, just started to make their way up north here, you know. Now, who paid for it and who got them here and who's been hiding them once they get here? I don't know, you know, but somebody paid for them to get here. Somebody... You know, whether it was a cartel, whether it was our government, whether it was, you know, Joe Schmuckatelli, Joe Schmuckatelli up the street. You know, whoever paid for it should be held accountable for a lot of the stupidness, you know. And I do 100% agree with those who say that we have active terror cells coming across the border. You know, it's going to happen. I, I have no doubt that it's going to happen. And, and not too long ago, I mentioned, you know, that every single house in my neighborhood that comes up available is uh, having multitudes of people moving in small homes. You know, my house is less than 700 square feet. You know, most of these houses in here are seven to 900 square feet unless they've had room additions put on them. But even then, it's, you know, 11 or 1200 square feet is the big house here. You know, see, these are not massive houses. The fact that we have 21 people living in a house that's less than a thousand square feet, right, right there. You know, the the house down the street from uh, a couple houses down from my mom's house. At last count, I think there was 11 or 12, and they're actually living in like homemade shacks behind the house. You know, I and I don't know what's going on behind this house. I mean. I was kind of curious about walking up there. There's a little break in the gate and just kind of seeing back there. But, you know, I'm trying to stay away from all that that's going on. And, I mean, there's, you know, roosters and chickens and rabbits all over the place. I mean, I'm just waiting for the fucking goat, man. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm literally, I, by Christmas, there's going to be a goat over there. So, 
But, um, you know, and it's not a racial thing. It's not. I'm just sitting back and saying, statistically, how is it that every single house in this neighborhood, when it becomes vacant, multitudes of Central American individuals move in, and to my knowledge, for the trying to communicate with a couple of them, nobody speaks English. You know? And I don't know what country. I don't know if they're Ecuadorian, Mexican, you know, Colombian. I don't know. I really don't care. I'm just wondering who's who's making a play to where it just, you know, again, what, where's everybody else that's supposed to be moving in this neighborhood? You know? Anyways, way off topic. But, um, yeah, like, I guess the president you know, does affect your life in some way. Um, cause if you are, you know, if you're someone who, you know, have family members that passed during COVID and you couldn't see them, then Trump affected your life. And, you know, and if you got, if you had, um, you know, people or situations that you're affected because of, uh, uh, illegal invader situation, then I guess Biden would be responsible for affecting your life that way. So, I was wrong, even though you never heard me say it. Um, but I was wrong in saying that the president really doesn't affect your life, because I guess in a way, you know, he does. So, <coughs> oh, I'm out of order. Damn it. But anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed me rambling and talking about the. You know, I got my trailer back. I'm happy about that. You know, the world may end tonight, but I got my trailer back. So. Um, Yay! <laughs> Peace, love, money, I'm out.